それは変数です。New Tumblr users, please remember this. Licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. Remember that. Writing prompt. You have a pet cat. He eats a lot for her size. Then he just suddenly splits in two. Now you have two cats. That's not, that's not a writing prompt. That's just having a cat. Am I right? Muggleborns using Morse code to cheat on tests and passing notes in Tolkien Elvish so that teachers can't read them and they leave the ancient runes professor practically in tears because they feel like a failure. Now that's a juicy kind of evil right there. When I was reading the book Entangled Life, which is about fungi, which I used to think was pronounced fungi, as it turns out, completely different, and the author Merlin Sheldrake said that once he got his first author copies, he was going to dampen the pages and use them to grow oyster mushrooms and yeast, and then use the yeast to brew beer and then drink the beer with the mushrooms to complete the cycle of fungal knowledge. I was like, really and truly, this guy gets it. You know what, if there is a god or goddess for sleep schedules, they surely hate humans. Reason for this is that why humans are the only species that can actively say no to sleep. Honestly, with this knowledge, there's still one question I still have. That is, should I or should I not try to murder that god or goddess? Um... <laughs> Good luck trying to kill a deity, I guess? Me entering any museum. Man, oh man, I'm so excited to learn all the things. Also me. Gift shop, gift shop, gift shop! There are two dragons inside of you. One hoards knowledge, and the other hoards trinkets. They're both very excited when you bring them to a museum. KFC, aka Kitty Fucking Cat. Beautiful. Andy, run to KFC and get me two bags of that. He cooks up Kentucky Fried Chicken in his kitchen, then packs it up in his handy box. Oh, yesterday I saw two teenagers making out in the park. Reminds me of my teenage days when I used to see other teenagers make out in the park. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Jeff. <sighs> what is wrong with him? Hey, if anyone feels sad tonight, please hold this thought for a minute. The bees in my yard are now so familiar with my walking pace and usual route that they sometimes stop and wait for me to pass when our paths intersect. Polite bees. Thanks, I needed that. I have mastered the art of stressing out and not caring whatsoever simultaneously. My life is a constant cycle of pain and misery. Fictional man I tuck into bed and kiss goodnight versus fictional man I knock out cold in one solid punch. They're the same guy. Guy who doesn't understand the concept of restaurants. I want to go to Arby's house. I want to go to Taco Bell's house. You know what? Actually, fuck this. I'm going to walk deep into the ocean sea and never come back. Bye. Ah, Poyo is such a raw line, and you'd think it comes from some Shakespearean tragedy, but no. It actually comes from Kirby. Wow. Boo, boo, boo. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but TV shows and books will crush your souls into a million little pieces. <laughs> you don't need to specify that a pirate is feral. Pirates are feral by definition. If it's domesticated, it's a privateer. I'm excited for bird-related reasons, but I don't know why! Bird! You gotta love how small puppies are like, I have no idea what's going on, but I think everything's going to turn out okay. And small kittens are like, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm going to fight you. Oh, to be a prince in the 1800s, wearing a loose white blouse, having tea with a knight I fall in love with. <sighs> Goals. I just want everyone to know, when I say evil, I really just mean villainous and campy, like a cartoon antagonist. Not, not an actual evil dictator sort of guy. No. New favorite conspiracy theory is that the lottery only exists to capture time travelers. I also now have a new favorite conspiracy theory. It won't happen if a werewolf and a vampire bit a human at the same time. Turns them into a Furby! Uh, takes a screenshot. No matter how old you are, an empty wrapping paper tube is still fun to bonk someone over the head with. Seeing a cardboard tube activates the cane instinct. Bonk. Everything's so funny when you use the wrong measurement. Five gallons of homework. Mouthful of lint. Twenty degrees of fish oil. Seven pints of china. Handful of fur guy. And sixty miles per hour of dad. <laughs> sixty miles per hour of dad. Why, well, I just... 
Andy, quickly, if it's okay with Amy, put up your broth going 60 miles per hour across screen. Go. Hold on, let me check my mental inventory. Mmm, damn. Sorry, dude. I don't have any fucks to give. Sad. Honestly, I didn't even know it was called Naruto running until years after I did it. I thought I was just running like Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait. Wait. Wait! Oh my god, it is the same thing! On a dark, stormy night, there was a creature. And you're never going to believe what it did next. It creached. I like this. Alright, that's it. The two genders are yours and mine. So shut the fuck up and be respectful. No, really. Gendering someone correctly isn't that hard. Stop being a bitch. Alright? Alright. Apparently sexy does not mean the same thing as cool. Ugh, shocked and disappointed, RN. Am I right? Oh no, your upper class neighborhood has writing on it! <laughs> this is the funniest fucking graffiti I've ever seen. Garfield's dead?! The... The US president, hon. Garfield was the president?! The... The, the masculine urge... No, that, no, scratch that one out. The, the... The feminine urge... No, no, scratch that one out too. The human urge is to yearn for the existence of dragons. We all feel it. You know, if Romeo had just cried on Juliet's corpse for a couple hours instead of drinking poison right then, they would have been fine. The moral of the story is, always take time to cry for a few hours before making important decisions. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. You made me download Tumblr. I hope you're happy. A new hand touches the clown beacon. Yeah, convert your vision to 144p. Hey! Give me my glasses back, jerk! If a werewolf dies, but they were an organ donor, does someone get a kidney that turns into a wolf kidney once a month? Imagine having a feeling of pure bloodlust radiate from one side of your mid-back approximately every 28 days. Bro, I don't need to imagine. What? Middle of the night cat petting makes you feel like a better person. He followed me into my room. And the pain of the world is healed. Now that's wholesome. Hey, have we checked on the Loch Ness Monster lately? What if she's still down there and feeling lonely? Oh my god. Andy, quick! Put me in a submarine! Throw me into the lake! Let's go! I don't know my mutuals' names. They're simply their URL that I read wrong. You're absolutely right. Um, uh, free augs? Free augs? Free augs. I love how this whole new people coming to Tumblr now situation has exactly the vibe of Strange showing up in the saloon of an old western town and stepping on the creaking floorboard. Now I'm sure they met a stranger, but I also was thinking of Oddworld Stranger's Wrath, if everyone remembers that game. Pretty sure this scene happened, who knows, could be wrong, could be right, who's to say? Everyone in Gotham always wants to know who Batman is, but they never want to know how he is. He's a grown man dressed as a bat. They know. These were ghosts written by Bruce and Alfred in that order. Writing is not about telling an epic story or making something that will outlive you. Writing is about going, hey, you know what would be fucking awesome? And then committing word crimes. <laughs> I made a new rule. Never trust how you feel about your entire life past 9 p.m. Okay, but according to my therapist, there's literally scientific reasoning for this. It depends on your circadian rhythm. But on average, after 9 p.m., your emotions are just more sensitive than during the day. You shouldn't have conversations dealing with conflict after 9. You shouldn't engage with potentially triggering content after 9. And you sure as hell shouldn't trust your own judgment after 9 p.m. Just consider your brain done. Either do something to make yourself happy, or go to sleep if you can. Yeah. Every other time I boot up a Steam game, one of my Steam friends messages me telling me to fuck off. And I'm always confused at first. But then I remember what my profile is right now. <sighs> Genius. Okay, well, th this needs the jump scare, I guess. Um, uh, and you just... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Make it the weakest sounding jump scare ever. Go. You ever delete an OC in your game because the game AI decided to try to take control and make its head cannon for your character's cannon? Like, bitch, I think not! Bro, I don't even care anymore! Fuck it! Continues to try very hard. 
A.K. my entire experience with Elder Drag. Am I right or am I right? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> the sound of heavy rain while you're in bed. You know, the moon controlling the tide sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, and yet, there she is, doing that. Every day. Good job, Sienna. So proud of you. Pat, pat. Yeah, I need physical touch, but if anyone touches me, I will maim them. It's not easy being green. Nine rings were made for men, seven for the dwarves, three for the elves, and one for the big guy himself. One, three, seven, nine. There is but a set of five missing to complete the sequence of odd numbers. I propose that the missing set of the Rings of Power was gifted to a mysterious someone by their true love, along with a partridge in a pear tree, among other things. In this essay, I will plot twist! The introverted character who doesn't like big social gatherings or speaking in front of people is still an introvert by the end of the story because introversion is not a character flaw and it doesn't need to be overcome! Okay? Okay! Man, what a year this week has been. Am I right? <laughs> Chapters ending in cliffhangers are the reason most of us don't have a normal sleeping pattern. Yeah. Do you ever read a book that's so well written and so up your alley that it low-key ruins the next few books you read? Once again, I reiterate. Yeah. Writing prompt. You are the ghost of a long-deceased king, cursed to haunt the museum where your body resides. Which is especially annoying for you, since the museum guides get all the facts about your reign completely wrong. He lived with his best friend. One would even say his best friend for all time. For he never married, and instead roomed with only his best friend. He showed no interest in romances, giving expensive gifts to his best friend and never taking a wife. He was clearly very political too, since he never showed interest in a wife or even concubines at all. That was my gay husband, you fucking ah! You know you like a character when you see them and you're like, oh, they, there they are! Ah! Okay, I, I have to do this. Andy, it's time to out me. <laughs> put up, put up a picture of Commando from Risk of Rain. Just, just do it. There he is. There's my son. I want whatever doofenshmirtz and Perry the platypus had in that K-pop stan Twitter AU. Yeah, I want to go to my grave not knowing what this post is about. Excuse me, but can someone explain why I just had the sudden urge to scream at a bonfire? Maybe it's because you hate bonfires. No, I do not hate the bonfire. I know what it is. Dark Souls Cravens. This is a hell site to you. I'm having a lovely time reblocking my pictures, so. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me, for decades, people from all walks of life made fun of teenage girls for being stands, from the Beatles to BTS, and made teenage girls out of these wild, out of the pocket, intense fans of cute boys. All for turning red to come out and people to act like they've never heard of a girl being into anything in their entire life? It, yeah. Yeah. That, that's how fucked up humans are. Yeah. Well, personally, me and my soulmate use our red string of fate to trip people over. <laughs> Truly the best. No offense to me or anything, but what the fuck am I actually doing? Like, me. What the hell, bro? Snuggles, get your head in the fucking game! Hey! His favorite hobby is napping! Respect his passion! No, 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 their cells are literally slowly burning. They sustain themselves on a corrosive liquid, and they ingest poisons and toxins for fun. Not to mention they become several times stronger under stress. So no, we are not going to the human planet! And then they did. Oh no, Mario, look out for that thwomp! What the thwomp? <laughs> I romantically stand outside your window and hold up my iPhone to blast our song. A 30 second ad plays first. Man. College easy because students have a lot of fun. Cats will be like, Burp. and every human in the vicinity will be like, oh, yes, ma'am, you're so right. You know everything. We love you. I mean, they, they do. do. Do you understand that they do? The reason Tumblr should have a mutuals only filter for notifications because I want to know which of you I need to demand reparations for my post getting popular. Oh, so you don't want a post to get popular? Hmm. Be a shame if this post went viral, don't you think? 
Okay, you know how Bilbo Baggins was just minding his own business one day and Gandalf just brought a dozen uninvited dwarves into his home? Sorry, Lake Mojave, you're about to get more. Go away and bother somebody else. Oh. PM Seymour. Look, if I introduced a WIP on here excitedly and then promptly never mention it again, it doesn't mean I'm not working on it. It means I'm slowly rotating into my mind like a rotisserie chicken and then went out to the grocery store to buy several other rotisserie chickens while I wait for it to cook, and then slowly started rotating these other rotisserie chickens and repeat. <sighs> yeah. Minute and minute shouldn't be spelled the same. I'm not content with this content. I object to that object. I need to read what I read again. Excuse me, but there's no excuse for this. Someone should wind this post up and throw it in the wind. Just stop! Wait, are there really new people joining the site? I thought it was a hoax. It's not. Whispering no at a character because you know they're about to make a fool of themselves and kill you with secondhand embarrassment. Every time. I think those 13-year-old fanfiction writers back in 2012 really created the perfect formula, and we just ignored them. Like... Maybe all we need is just a bunch of our favorite characters chilling together in one big house. Maybe that's all we need. You know how we say short king? We should start saying flat queen. Like, this fan art is cool, but Rani is canonically a flat queen. And she is. She gave up anime titties for the power of having two extra arms. God bless her. Also gives us the best magic in the game, hands down. Rice fills me with joy and happiness. But more importantly, it fills me with rice. Mm. Oh my god, I love your necklace. Where did you get it? Oh, it's not a necklace, actually. It's an amulet with an evil force trapped inside that could destroy the entire world if it were ever to be unleashed. But thanks! Oh, and I got it at Claire's. Are new people really enjoying Tumblr or not? It's simple. It would be very funny if new people joined Tumblr and sucked at it. It would also be very funny if no one was joining Tumblr and people were just telling increasingly ridiculous lies. Therefore, I firmly believe both situations are true. The most supernatural thing in this show is how Sam and Dean managed to draw a perfect circle for every goddamn devil's trap ever. I mean... Yeah! How do... How do they do that? You go into a creepy mansion and there's a cloaked figure learning how to play organ from a YouTube tutorial on their phone. And you leave them to it. They're learning. Let him be. Today I learned a Russian scientist injected himself with a three and a half million year old bacteria trapped in Siberian permafrost after successful experiments on mice and fruit flies. He says it has made him flu proof for the past two years and gave him more energy to work longer hours. Oh, so no one can drink the sarcophagus juice, but this guy can inject himself with ancient bacteria. I see, I see, I see. Literally, if you're new to Tumblr, Reblog shit. But it won't fit my aesthetic. Make a side blog. Reblog to that. I hate tagging. Don't tag him. Reblog it anyway. But my likes are public. People here don't fucking look at your likes. They don't do anything anyway. Reblog it. You just want attention. Joke's on you. I don't make shit anymore. I'm talking about other artists. It's embarrassing. Tumblr is an anonymous platform. Make a side block if you're too pansy. But on Twitter, it's fine to have lurk accounts. Well, they suck ass here and are assumed to be bots. Reblog. It's embarrassing? Bro, you're literally on Tumblr. Just reblog!